Welcome to Dude RV. A little bit gray today, but I don't have any control over the weather. Right now, we are going to explore way out here in West Texas. Not way out in West Texas. Well, I'm out in West Texas at Fort Belknap. This is one of this is one of the many forts built by the United States. It was established in 1851 by General G. Belknap. And located by Captain R.B. Marcy. All right, so they actually have a, a museum. We're gonna, we're gonna do some exploration. I'm not gonna take I'm not gonna make a real long boring video out of this. We're just gonna check it out. This is all a reconstruction done by the CCC back in the 30s. A land and water conservation fund protect project. So this is operated by the county. It's an old magazine. Nineteen thirty six magazine, eighteen fifty two Chapel of Peace, nineteen fifty four. That's interesting. Now, what I found out when I pulled in is that if you're an RV traveler, it well, first if you have a big family reunion and you need a cool place, they they will rent this out for a family reunion type act function. Best of all, they have RV connections, water, and electric. There is no dump station, so just know that. Conserve your water wisely. Well, that's really cool. Mustang grapes. Look at these big old Mustang grape trees. Those are most definitely the biggest. Holy cow, look at that. That is a grapevine. <laughs> My goodness. That's that's the biggest grape vine I've ever seen. I knew Mustang grapes got big, but man. That's incredible. So there's a restroom facility. There's some activity type stuff. Swing set. Swing as high as you can and jump out. Somebody got a donkey. <laughs> Tonka was scouts. Hmm. Interesting. Tonka was. Such a pretty little, pretty little place. Corn house. So the original edifice can be seen on the bottom half of the building. Looks like they're probably using it for storage now. There is a museum on site, so we're gonna we're gonna cruise around and look at some of the other buildings, and then we'll go see some stuff in the museum. 
Not much is known about the Lauderdale Hotel, not contemporary with soldiers' occupation. Construction of the 1870 town of Belton, Epic, Thanos, Anyway, Holly Saloon. Well, I, I guess that must be the, the hotel. Oh. I think I hear thunder. What is this marker over here? Past this point extended a military road connecting Fort Belknap and San Antonio, blazed in 1851 by Lieutenant Francis T. Bryan of the U.S. Army, traveled by troops, supply trains, and frontier settlers. Interesting. Very neat. It's a very neat piece of Texas history, actually U.S. history in, in a lot of ways, because it was the U.S. Army that manned the, built and manned the forts. More of those swings. Some big old guns right there. Got a squeaky brake. Barracks number one and number two and four are the only surviving living quarters in this post. So it's a 50 enlisted men plus officers. Two room on the east end of the structure were sergeant's quarters. The building had stacked bunks and closets or lockers for the men's use. It is possible that the barracks had porches spanning the north and south sides of the building as this was commonplace to combat the Texas summer heat. All right. Well, there you have it. Right, so let's go check out the museum. See what, what is of interest there. Oh, we missed a sign. So if you were the if you were the cook, if you were the company cook, you, you, you were gravy. That was the gravy job. Apparently they were well armed here. So if you're traveling through this part of Texas, just outside of Graham, Texas. And you're looking for a place to to spend a night or two you can actually rv camp at fort belknap three nights that's your that's your maximum stay it says here it's ten dollars per night but i think they've had a price increase i think he told me it was 15. anyway a little thunder rolling let's go check out the museum So before of the Plains Indians. Oh no, that's cool. And Fort Belknap was one of the forts built by the U.S. Army along the line for the uh, Texas Forts Trail. And uh, the Texas Historical Commission has a lot of information on that. Well, that's cool. A rattlesnake skin holster.
Here comes some more rain. As they say, when it rains, it pours. Mm -hmm. And it has been pouring a lot. So, when the Indians kind of left Texas, uh, all the, the federal troops were sent to Utah to deal with the Mormons. The Texas Rangers actually would rendezvous here. Fort Belknap was also occupied by the Confederate Army, 1881. Federal reoccupation. Little mammoth teeth, tusk, a hip, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, talk about roughing it. Very interesting. So now that we've toured the grounds and we've wandered around the museum, I've been having some conversation with the proprietor, Jim Hammond, and I've asked Jim to give us a little insight as to what gets him excited about being the proprietor, the caretaker, and to tell us a little bit about Fort sure. Belknap. Absolutely. So this, this fort was started in 1851 and it replaced the fort that was at Fort Worth. If, you've ever, if you're familiar with Fort Worth, there's a street through downtown called Belknap. That was a direct military road here. So in 1851, they established this fort and by 1853, they closed Fort Worth and moved everything out here. And that's because of westward advancement because settlers moving west. For me, I think probably one of the things as I've studied this history here, we've redone this museum and one of the things that I've realized in studying the history of Fort Belknap is how much impact Fort Belknap had on the nation as a whole, military-wise. There was a lot of things that the military learned here at Fort Belknap. There was every, all the soldiers were being taught out of West Point, so they knew one type of warfare. The Indians did not play by that kind of warfare. Mm -hmm. And so there were a lot of failures on the U.S. military's part and a lot of learning curves that they realized what didn't work here at Fort, Fort Belknap. 
And later, especially during the Civil War and afterwards with the Red River Wars and the Indian Wars, you see those things that they learned put into action and put into play. And so for me, telling that story, I think it's really not just locally what Fort Belknap means to the local area, but what it means on the grander scale on, on, on Texas history and American history, how much is learned um, through that. So that's kind of my, my biggest, I think that's one of the things that I love the most about the fort. So why, in your opinion, would someone want to come here? Well, I mean, you, obviously, if you're, if you're coming to Fort Belknap, you, you have an interest in history. And I think whenever we think Texas history, we usually make these leaps. You go from the Texas Revolution to sometimes maybe the Civil War. But usually it's Texas Revolution, and then you go into the cattle drives or the trains or the oils, oil movement and all that stuff. And there's a huge gap of history that's missed. And that is the 1850s. The 1850s is probably the most overlooked um, history whenever you talk about Texas history. And mm -hmm. so that's why I would say come here for, for uh, uh, to learn that aspect of it. So, so as, a, as an RVer, if I was rolling through this part of Texas just exploring, I can camp here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the fee for that is? $15. $15 a night. How does one go about getting a site? Probably the best thing to do is call ahead, 940-846-3222. If you're just driving by and we don't have anything going on, you're going to get a site. Uh, you'll be able to stay here. But we do have family reunions on the weekends and stuff, so just be aware. Of is there a website where people can learn more our, about Fort Our Belknap? Facebook page. Uh, on Facebook? Yeah, just look up Fort Belknap, Texas. Uh, where, where There is a Fort Belknap, Montana, which was an Indian reservation, named after General Belknap's son. So you make sure you had, you had put in Fort Belknap, Texas, so okay. it'll lead you well, to everything here. I'll put a link in the description below so you can check that out. So there you have it, Fort Belknap interesting place if you're looking for a, a cool just an interesting piece of history to visit if you're looking for some interesting history then you should come pay a visit to Fort Belknap maybe spend the night maybe not but stop by and learn a little bit more about Texas history hey if this is your first visit to dude RV I'd sure appreciate you considering clicking on that subscribe button and for those of you who have been following along, thank you. I'm so deeply honored. That's why I do what I do. That's why I get to see these cool places. And for my patrons, you rock. Thank you. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?